Hi guys, welcome to another monthly update. This is a weird one because pretty much all of you guys, as well as myself, we're all under lockdown at the minute, so I'll be talking a little bit about that. Um, but first of all, I, I just want to thank all my amazing donators, uh, PayPal, Subscribestar, Patreon, um, Twitch. I mean, it's just awesome. It, it really is, especially in, in these times when it, it's really, really tough. So huge thank you because I, I hardly earn anything off YouTube. And without your subsidization, I, I, I would not be able to put the hours into this job that I do to bring you the videos that I do. So a huge thank you to you guys. You are really special and I absolutely appreciate it 100%. We're going to start as always by going quickly through the PayPalers. Then we're going to roll the patrons and then we're going to have a chat about... Um, what's coming up this month on Worth a Buy and uh, how the lockdown's affecting us here. So we'll start with Cameron Kirby, then we've got Joseph Gray, who says, Hi Mac, discovered your channel recently, having a good time going through your videos during lockdown. Don't always agree with you, but you make me laugh plenty regardless. Plus you turned me on to Anno 1800, so have a tenner, you bastard. Cheers, Joe. <laughs> Cheers, Joe, it's a great game, Anno 1800. A worthy winner of my game of the year 2019. Then we've got Artistimus, uh, Paul Bibley, Edmund Leonard, uh, Joshua Mix, Carl Smith, Sven Anderson, the pawn shop owner. He's not really, but. Hi, Mac. Hope you and your family are good. Stay healthy. I've got the coronavirus. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. He's got it, guys. And he's very sick, but not in danger. But I know now that this virus will truly be very dangerous and sick for elderly people. Stay healthy. Well, you've been a, a, a huge supporter of my channel for many years. And we all wish you a speedy recovery. And uh, let us know when you're better so we can uh, let people know in the next update. And um, damn, damn, that's, that, that, that kind of threw me a bit there. Uh, so, yeah, man, get, get, get well, get well, get well. We have Sean Byers, Ronald Dickman, Narek Gazarian, Joshia Barlow. Hi there, Mac. I first watched the monthly update where you talked about your personal struggle with mental health. Part that struck me was the stress you feel from having to take days off due to your mental health and not being able to earn while focusing on your mental well-being. As someone that has had some pretty severe mental health problems which have caused me to temporarily drop out of university two years ago, I really know this pain. So here is some money that I hope you can stash away so that when you do have another bad day, you maybe don't need to worry as much. I am certain that I speak for the whole community when I say, we got your back mate, keep on being a real top bloke, cheers from New Zealand. What a nice bloody message! Cheers uh, from someone who knows who knows the bloody disease, and that's what it is. We've got Brian Powell say he says you're a good man, Mac. Take care of yourself. Regards, fake spider. Cheers, Brian. Then we've got Joseph Man Man. I can't pronounce names, so I do apologise. Don't get offended. Nothing happens even if you do so. Joseph Mastinke set. Joseph, thanks Joseph. Justin Rop, oh, me. Not he's not called Joseph. Me, he's not even called Joseph. He's called Justin, but not oh, Mac. Just, Justin Ropcock. No, it's not Ropcock. Rop. Thanks Justin. Justin, it, he's called Justin. Peter Hogg, Neil Bate, Gattis Gattis, Hector Hernandez, Jake. Buy some of these. Uh, have been around for years. Top blokes. Jacob McMullen, Rice Thorburn, bloody hell, Samuel Robinson, Patrick Alboth, I know all these names. Matthew Morgan, Narek, Kazar, Kazar, yeah, Narek, cheers. Aaron Reed, thank you for the laughs and reviews. Slingshot, Marvin Coverdell, Matthew, oh god, Matthew Pietrionrio, Matthew Michael Nash. A huge thank you to all my PayPal donators. Uh, I totally appreciate it. I really, really do. I don't know what I'd do without you, to be honest, guys. Uh, what well, I'd do, I'd, 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 I'd be screwed. And it's the same with all my patrons. And we're going to roll the patron names now. Uh, they're probably already rolling, to be honest. Um, you guys are just amazing. Absolutely amazing. So many of you. So I, I have lost quite a few in the last month, which is understandable. Understandable. Completely understandable. And a lot of you have downgraded your, your donations to a dollar. And again, I can understand. I, I really can. I'm not stupid. Charity begins right at home, guys. It really does. You have got to look after yourselves before even thinking about helping other people. Um, 
that is so important that is so important so yeah this lockdown uh, and most of you guys are in in lockdown now um i'm trying to pump out the content uh, as much as possible but i got kind of stumped with uh, half-life alex it took a lot out of me that game um, because i just wasn't used to vr again i hadn't worn vr for a few months because of the lack of flight sims and driving games with it um so it, it kind of took a hell of a lot out of me it took a whole week to do that review can you believe that a whole freaking week to do that review it kept making me ill uh, so i couldn't actually do the work i was i was having to take the headset off every 25 minutes by the time i got to the last couple of hours of the game i think i just stormed the last couple of hours in one session because i was getting acclimatized again to the vr headset and that's what it does if you've got vr you have to go through 20 to 30 minute spells with it um that's it and then you get acclimatized to it and you're able to, to to do it no problem now i can do vr now no bother um but i don't have any more vr to do so it kind of sucks i should have done some training um before i did half-life alex but then i went straight into resident evil um and then straight into banner lord so i haven't kind of i'm taking a couple of days because i've just been blasting for, for two weeks solid every single day and i'm kind of wrecked and obviously because of what's gone on um irl i've been busy doing things in in real life i've had to kind of look after my mother she's 84 she lives about a 20 minute car drive from me and uh, she can't go to the shops and nobody can come to our house because she does have a care helper that comes around but that care helper also sees a lot of other people and i've told her that no you're not allowed to name me mother because you, you you're likely to get this um so i'm kind of doing that for her um, as you should as a son. I'm not trying to virtue signal. I mean, you know, she looked after me when I was a kid and I couldn't look after myself. So it's my turn to look after her like every child should with their parents. Um, so um, there's that and that takes a, a, a chunk out of me week every few days, you know, nipping over with food, fresh stuff, uh, soap and all the, all the other stuff and doing things that need doing that she just can't do. So there's that. There's not any huge games coming out until probably the end of the month. We've got Predator Hunting Grounds coming out, which I will be covering. We've got uh, Gears Tactics, which I'll also be covering. There'll, there'll be a, there's a few indie games that I'm covering as well. I'm streaming a bit as well. Also, I'm probably going to start my Mountain Blade stream soon. So there's, there's plenty coming. I'll be uploading things onto this channel as well. I might even stream on, on Worth a Buy. I haven't streamed on Worth a Buy for about a year. I might do a a crazy stream on worth a buy so just to say hello to everybody live uh, that's always fun I always get about a thousand in it's always a good good laugh when i do that i had i do have a confession to make guys um i tried to buy a nintendo switch during the lockdown uh but i was unable to <laughs> so i think i think uh i've been pawned by nintendo because i had all the opportunities five of them to buy it when i went out to buy it five times i tried to buy one last year and i bottled it in the shop every time in the time that I knew I wasn't going to bottle it, they sold out everywhere. So I didn't I didn't get one, which is quite funny. So anyway, guys, I'm going to end with a, a huge thank you to everybody for, for donating, for helping me out. Um, it's I've, I've lost about a, a third of my earnings, and it sucks. It, it, it is, I've had to go into my savings just to buy stuff. Um, and that was my house money that I've been saving up. I mean, I've only had to go into it a little bit, but still, it sucks when you have to do things like that. But hey... People are worse off than me. There's a lot of people losing everything. They've lost their business. They're going to lose the house. Uh, they're probably going to even go bankrupt. And my heart goes out to them because I know what that's like. I went bankrupt myself in 20, uh, 2001, it was. Yeah, I lost everything. It's horrible. It's, it's the worst thing. And, you know, if you know people that are in real trouble, help them if you're able. Help them if you're able because... And don't virtue signal it. Don't make a video and post it on Facebook and say, oh, look what I'm doing. You know, because that, that's, you know, that's because you're doing it for your own, you know, self-gratification. Do it because you, you mean it, you know, and don't make a bloody video on it. Because I tell you something, when I went bust, uh, none of my friends helped me. They all just f***ed off. Didn't want to know. And it sucks. You, you know who your friends are when, when shit hits the fan. You know who your friends are. You know, uh, talk is cheap. Uh, but actions speak louder than any words could ever ever say so um, if you can help people there's a lot of people struggling right now especially the old people if you know any maybe risk a trip to the shops i mean it's simple you know you can shop I, i've been to a shop tonight 
and we just stood outside until there was only a couple of people in and then once we knew we could outmaneuver them in the shop it's like a video game you know you just go in you just you're not allowed within six feet of them or you die and it's it's just like playing a video game us gamers should be awesome at shop and we should be the best shoppers ever we do stealth games we're ninjas man what the f are you? come on guys you know don't be an arse and just walk into a shop and stand next to people that's not social distancing you got to keep your social distancing six feet don't go within six feet of anybody don't ever risk it guys because they may have it and you don't want it you, you don't want this so as gamers use your stealth stuff i know people who are on consoles they might they probably they probably screwed because consoles show you how to they kind of hold your hand and say oh look that's where they're going to walk to next us pc gamers we, we we're old school we don't know which way that guy's going to turn in the shop we just use our senses and then we react you can't that's, i'll cut that out i won't i'll cut that out but anyway guys what i'm trying to say is stay safe obey the rules of this lockdown it's probably going to go on for a few more weeks don't go near anybody don't take any risks whatsoever please don't because from what i've heard this is a horrible horrible thing and i'm going to end this by saying we wish sven anderson who's been a long time contributor to this channel a speedy recovery um i'm sure plenty of people will be posting uh, get well soon messages for you in the comments to to, to build up your spirits because you're probably in self-isolation and uh you know that that's gotta suck so let's cheer him up with a few a few comments for sven uh, maybe hold up in his adult bookshop there. He's, he, he doesn't have white. There's a shop at Newcastle called Sven Adult Books. And I, yeah, that's the joke. I keep saying that it's his. It might be. Yeah. Anyway, guys, thanks for your amazing support. I've got to go now because um, we are cooking. Well, Cass is cooking. Are we? I can smell it now. It smells delicious. I think it's something to do with chicken thighs. But... Uh, See you later, guys, and thanks very much for all your awesome support.